Using a transition property to rotate is very similar to using a transition property to scale an image. If you've watched the scaling video, there are many similarities. And if you haven't, we'll start from scratch. I have a div tag specifically set aside for rotating. And I have a CSS rule attached to that. Because I know already that I wanted to transition I do need my transition rules. And for the past few videos, I've been cheating a little bit and just copying and, and pasting. Um, and I'll do the same here just to save some time. I have my WebKit, Mozilla, Opera, and normal versions of transition with my all, my 0.5 seconds, which seems to be working out, and ease, which is my preference. I will copy those and add them into my rotate rule. And remember, again, that goes into the main rule, not the hover, and not the active, if you happen to be using an active. Now that I have that in place, I can come in and create my rotate colon hover. So again, remembering to get my braces in place. The property, sorry for the long pause there, I was looking for this particular rule here. The property for rotate is very similar for the property that you would use for scaling. And the main thing to remember is you do need the browser prefixes. But let's just get the main portion of it in place first without the prefixes. Transform colon rotate. And then in parentheses, the degree of rotation, a positive number clockwise, a negative number counterclockwise. I'll plug in 10 DEG, standing for degrees. Finish off the parentheses, the semicolon, and we're good to go, except that we need the browser prefixes. So I will copy that, paste a few times, Go back and add the hyphen, webkit hyphen, hyphen, moz hyphen, and hyphen o hyphen. All right, well, let's see, first of all, if that is giving us 10 degrees of rotation. Again, as always, pardon my oddities with Dreamweaver. All right. The rotation is taking place from the center, which, which may be fine. You can see I have 10 degrees positive ro rotation clockwise. But you also have the option of changing the origin. It doesn't have to be in the center. So I'm going to add transform origin. And I think just to spice it up a little bit, I'm going to choose something like bottom and right. Finish the finish that rule off with the semicolon. So instead of rotating from the center, it will now kind of swing as if on a hinge from the bottom right hand side. The transform origin is also a property that requires browser prefixes. So once you get it in place, you do have to go back and add the WebKit, the Mozilla. I know I sound like a broken record. And at some point in time, this will be easier. And the need for the browser prefixes will no longer be there. All right, well, I have my hover. It's already rotating. But now I've additionally changed the origin point, or the, the hinge, if you will. I'll save that. Let Dreamweaver catch up with me. So again, before I refresh, that's what it was looking like before. And so now you can see it's kind of stuck to the bottom right. So depending on what you want to do, there's, there's tons of options with the rotate. 